Saudi Arabia and Russia will be doing uh... <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. The imbecile goes full stupid <laughs> for the cult. Roll it! But now you see... But now yeah, he sees the writing on the wall. He's staring straight at a bunch of empty seats. That's right. That's right. And all he has left is that clown show. Now you see how people can destroy our country. You know, the president has tremendous power. A president has tremendous No, really. No. You're kidding. Tremendous power. And you can make or break a country if you're... We're fine. We have the number one economy in the world. What are you talking about? Stupid. All he does is beat these people down with gloom and doom. It's terrible. If you don't know what you're doing, look at the, the whole world is laughing at us. Nope. They laugh at you. Face it. They laugh at you. And you're afraid to go on anybody that's going to fact check you because you're a goddamn liar and you have these idiots living in a bubble. Five years ago, we were respected. You nope. No, we weren't. That's why they had... A, a, a float at a parade with you in a diaper. Yeah, that's really respected. Yeah, uh huh? President was respected? Nope. No, he wasn't. He was pathetic. It was a joke. It was embarrassing. And our country was respected. And Victor Orban, one of the tough. Look at who you name drop. A despot. A despot that plays you <laughs> like a five year old. Like the five year old that you are. That's right. Leaders in the world, the strong people, the press hates it. They say he's a tough leader. Well, you know, fuck that. You're an imbecile, is what you are. <laughs> You're pathetic. You need a tough leader, but highly intelligent guy, very strong person from Hungary. He's the head of Hungary. Look at that! And he <laughs> said, Why is it that the whole world is going crazy? The whole world. Remember me? I had no wars. I had no anything. We had no terrorists. We had no terror attacks. Everybody was happy. We had no terrorist attacks, but he said, why? This he lady woke up and thought that actually looked good in the mirror. <laughs> he becomes president the whole world because, and I don't use this word, I don't like the word for myself. I'm not saying, I'm just saying the word he said. He said the whole world was afraid of him. China was afraid. Victor Orban, sent by Putin, went and talked to him at a five-year-old level. Yeah, yeah, that's what. <laughs> this is pathetic. Russia was afraid. Everybody was afraid. No. Nah. No. Nope. Is that why you gave him COVID tests? You prick. And I don't like that. I'd like to say respect. You're an asshole. You're an asshole and you're going to prison. But I'm just saying what he said, so... Because otherwise they'll say, oh, oh, oh. You know, these guys are so bad. They'll say, oh, oh, oh. Really? <laughs> a big part of our No, nope. you're pointing at empty seats, Stinky. You are pointing at empty seats. In this country, are those people right back there? Who? There's nobody there, and you know it. You're pathetic. Look at you. You're pathetic, and you know it. And you know it. The end is near. Big part of our problem. We need a free and fair press, badly, desperately. It's not, the election's not going back to Congress to be voted on. Not going to happen. Sorry. I watched the way they asked questions of Kamala yesterday. Howard Stern, he's a weak, a weak guy. He's a <laughs> you are so jealous that Howard Stern wants nothing to do with you. <laughs> No, no. He interviewed her and not you. Not you because you're so pathetic. Oh, it was so ridiculous. Even she was embarrassed. It was like softball. But all of them. Howard, I, I know him very well. I was on the show many times. I used to think he was good. Then I dropped him. No. He wants nothing to do with you. And he, I dropped him like a dog. There you go banging on an animal again. You're pathetic is what you are. What you're anything that takes attention from away from you in a room you despise. Yeah, that's right. Because you're you have the mentality of a five year old. 
and his ratings are very challenged. No, they're not. No, they're not, and you know it. Very challenged, but... Uh, nope. No, they're not. And you're not allowed on the show. You went on a bro podcast, one of those broski podcasts, and they laughed at you in your face when you said that you were a truthful person. That, that whole... <laughs> that whole round table just laughed at you. Uh, I watched the questions. I watched that stupid view where you have these really... Yeah. Young... Guess who's not going on the view? You. <laughs> People. You know, Whoopi Goldberg said, would you participate in a movie? She made some movie on basketball. This was before the, I ran for politics. She said... What oh, are you talking about? <laughs> President, you'd win. This is Whoopi Goldberg. You don't hear that. She said, I'm making a movie. Would you be in it? I said, In what capacity? Just to walk on. You're so great. Would you a basketball movie? <laughs> they want you to be the point guard. I would love to see that. I did a walk on for Whoopi Goldberg. Now she says, I refuse to mention his name. You know what? Politics. Yeah, is here's what happens. Here's what happens. People find out what you really are, not who you really are, what you really are. You're trash. You're toxic sludge. That's your problem. Strange things to demented people. That, that's you. You. <laughs> this is such projection. <laughs> oh, this is the meanderings of a flailing, disgusting, decomposing sack of flies on shit. No, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Touche to Putin. He really picked a sack of shit. Yeah, uh-huh. This Russian plant sack of shit him. After the war, the obese doctor confessed to administering a cocktail of drugs. Opiates, morphine, barbiturates, and possibly amphetamines, leading to speculation that his treatment caused the dictator's extreme behavior. Oh, so you're going to blame Ronnie Jackson for your downfall. <laughs> 